Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Jim, and I've officially, as of today, qualified for the Terrastalized Suspect vote. If you would like to vote on the fate of Terrastalized, I know a lot of you guys in my comments, you feel very strongly that Terrastalized should stay. You guys love Terrastalized. Well, if you love Terrastalized, go vote in favor of keeping it. You can do this. You just got to meet these requirements. Listed in this thread, you've got to get a certain GXC with a minimum amount of games. It's more doable than it sounds. If you're, if you're all right at Pokemon, you can get there. I believe you can do it, folks. This is a democracy. We all have our opinions. And all of our opinions are valid. Muad'Dib, as is foreseen, has, has qualified. This was a foregone conclusion from the beginning. Muad'Dib, of course, was in the prophecy to save Gen 9. And here he is. Uh, and what am I going to vote for, folks? What is Jim going to vote for out of these options? Please don't hate me for what I'm about to say. Because what I'm about to say, I do not hate fun. I do not want your fun to cease by what I'm going to vote for. Plus, I'm just one person. My vote isn't going to swing things one way or the other, probably. But I'm going to vote to outright ban Terrastalize. That's what I think is the best for the metagame long term. That's just what I think. I think that um I think that Terrastalize it can be fun. It can create some unique situations, but I think what it really does now that the meta has de has uh, developed a, a bit, uh, we've found that you know the best way to abuse Terrastalize is on Pokémon that are already nuts. You know, Chi Yu increasing its stab or gaining grass type, Volcarona Terra Grass. There's a lot of situations where some crazy boost sweeper can secure their position by terrestrializing to a defensive type that also gives them stab damage for some offensive coverage option. That's pretty crazy to me. Like Volcarona becoming grass type. I think that, you know, something like Volcarona. It already got boots in Gen 8. It has Quiver Dance. And now we have to deal with the fact that at any point it could t change into a different type whilst keeping bug fire stab i think that that's a lot to ask it's it's kind of crazy i think that terrestrialize is going to be a common factor in pushing many already good pokemon over the edge into into being like a guessing game territory or you know just unfun to play against territory where annihilate right now is infuriating to play against all of my losses in the in the suspect test uh, climb, we're to annihilate going crazy. That thing is too bulky. And it can enhance its bulk by changing to a different type. Water type is is going to be neutral to like everything ever. Plus it's it's a 50-50 mind game. Are they going to terror are they going to terror or not? Should I moonblast or thunderbolt or you know shadow ball or thunderbolt? Should I hit their current typing or the terror typing? Some people think that's a very nuanced, deep mind game with skill involved. To me, it's a bloody coin flip, folks. And knowing that Annihilate is Terra Water isn't going to change that coin flip, nor is it going to change the fact that Annihilate is getting so much out of that Terra Water. It's losing so many weaknesses. It's so difficult to, to play in such a way that you call out the Terra. It is... You know, Rage Fist obviously is enhanced by being able to terror to a defensive type. You get a free Rage Fist proc. Annihilate's just one example. I think Volcarona is another good example. I think Dragonite is a good example. Roaring Moon. I think these are all good examples. I think that the most popular option in the community right now seems to be, from what I've seen, the reveal terror types in preview. There's a precedent. VGC is doing this as well. So even VGC is adding... Restrictions to Terra in, in a way. Uh, because, you know, knowing the Terra types is a nerf to the mechanic. So, I think it's uh, it's telling that even, like, the official VGC format is at least doing something to make Terra more manageable. Because they acknowledge that there's uh, a lot of variance involved in, in a Pokemon being able to change into any bloody type. But, I think that, you know, if we see all the Terra types of preview... Annihilate is still going to be a bastard. Volcarona is still going to be annoying. I don't know. Iron Moth. All these all these guys. There's also going to be the issue of 
Offensive threats nuking through with stab, enhanced stab. Can you imagine all the Swift Swimmers returning? People, new Pokemon are going to come back. We're going to get the Swift Swimmers back. Right now, Floatzel is viable. Because it's the only Swift Swimmer we have. And also, it's like... Uh, you know... If Whiskash had Swift Swim and Terra Water, it could probably be a threat. I don't know. Terra Water in the rain with Swift Swim is just a crazy nuking concept. I basically think, and the reason I think that we need to dis be decisive on this early on is because this is going to define the format going forward and the way that we decide to balance things. If we're going to say, you know, we're, if we say that, uh, okay, for this period of time, we've implemented this restriction to Terra. Reveal Terra types of preview. Now we're going to ban the stuff that uh, gets a lot of out of Terrastalize and is too hard to manage with Terrastalize. Reveal the team preview. Okay. What if, so we probably would ban Annihilate, that would be my guess. We might ban like, I don't know. I don't think you'd ban Volcarona, but Volcarona would continue to be annoying. And... New Pokemon are going to come out. New Pokemon are going to come out. How, who knows how new Pokemon are going to abuse Terra. I guess the argument is we have to wait and see, let the meta develop. But... I think that this mechanic is just fundamentally nutty. I think it's going to continue to like have these game-breaking situations it creates. That even something like a Garganical becoming fairy type is kind of annoying. It's like... I think that the more you play, the less interesting Terrastalize becomes. On day one, it was awesome. I was terrestrializing grass on my Torkoal. Like, I've never seen this before. My grass type Torkoal, what's going on? But now we've played with it for a couple of weeks, in my, in my opinion. All, every Terra type is just whatever you need to gain resistances or immunities. Or it's like something like Volcarona HP Terra Grass to gain resistances plus coverage. Or it's like some OP defensive type, which is always Water, Fairy, Steel, Flying. Like those four. You know? I think that the the nuance of it is overstated. I think that actually it's just what if we take this Pokemon with bad typing and give it like water type or some OP type. And then I got to deal with like fairy type Garganical, fairy type Skeledurge. It's not actually as interesting as, as I think it first seemed. It's interesting in a very obvious sense where like the Pokemon is obviously changing type. It's happening in front of you. It's obviously... But that's not where nuance and depth comes from in my mind. Nuance and depth in competitive Pokemon comes from like... You're aware of everything. You're, you, you're aware of all the moving parts in a battle. All the possible different sets that could happen. There's threats that handle each other. There's counters to those threats. And then it's like... You know, like chess or something. You're... Playing a battle of minds where everyone... Like, I play a lot of Gen 3. Gen 3 is a very refined metagame. It's been around for years. Everyone knows all the common threats, the common checks to stuff. And then, just knowing everything in the game doesn't make it like a solved game. In fact, that it introduces a lot of nuance where if something's such a common threat, you can have this specific counterplay to it. You can do whatever. And... Yeah, I think that's where Pokemon is cool. That's where competitive Pokemon is cool in my mind. I think that these these gimmicky new mechanics are like they they're flashy in a very obvious way but we don't need them for the for the gen 9 to be new and cool and interesting. There's so many new pokemon to use, there's so many new mechanics. It's an entirely different pool of pokemon and stuff to use. That's where the variety comes from. The more you the more you, you know, play and learn it, it's going to become a deeper experience. I don't think we need a we need to rastalize to do that. Anyway. And yeah, I also think that to is just gonna continue to push Pokemon over the edge. And I think we gotta we gotta be decisive. We've gotta say this is what the gen is gonna be. But many people feel differently to me. My opinion is that probably the revealed terror type at preview is gonna be the most popular one. It's probably my preferred restriction because I think that um yeah, this one is, uh, first member of your party will be allowed to terrestrialize. So you can see which 
Pokemon has Terra on it. And only one Terra... And only one Pokemon can Terra per game. I don't... I don't like this one as much. I feel like it's... Uh, I think... It, my hunch is that this one might even be balanced without it having to be... Revealed. Which member of the party has Terra or not. Like, just restricting it to one per team would already be okay. Maybe I'm... Maybe that's... I don't know. But... Yeah, that's what I think, folks. I mean, many people think this is the most interesting mechanic ever. I think that they peaked at Megas. Megas was a beautiful mechanic that felt like a logical extension of what Pokemon already was. And since then, they've it feels like they've rushed every other mechanic. Z-Moves was good. I like it, but it, it's worse than Megas. And then Dynamax was like... Maybe some of the worst game design in history. What if we made Pokemon ginormous and gave them, like, everything in the world? They just get double health. All their moves are OP. What if I made my Pokemon just way better and ginormous? That's the idea? Huh? Ah? And Terra is, like, somewhere in between all that? I don't know. I don't love, like, the Dynamax... And the terror type mechanics where it can be done by any Pokemon at any time. I feel like it's... Something about that doesn't sit right. Anyway. That's my thoughts on the issue. Let me know down below what you are going to vote for if you've qualified. And... You know. If you think that uh, I am unskilled. And I need to adapt. And I need to... Become better at... Pokemon and Terastalize is introduced a nuance and depth, then I don't know, I just disagree. I think that Terastalize creates... There's always coin flips in Pokemon, but Terastalize creates more coin flips more often, which I don't think is... I don't think coin flips are what we want. There's always going to be guessing and prediction, but I don't think it should be coin flips all the damn time, you know? Anyway, that's enough. I'll show patrons for one second. These are patrons. And I'll... And here's an end screen. Thank you for watching. What do you think of Terastalize? Is Terastalize epic? Is it non-epic? Is it your favorite mechanic since the introduction of the special defense stat? Is it the worst mechanic since Ficious Rend? Is it the best mechanic since Health Items? Is it the worst mechanic since Baton Pass? Let me know. I love you guys commenting below your thoughts, and I will respond and argue with you. Let's get into heated arguments down below about a children's video game. That's my favorite pastime, is getting into heated debates about a, a video game for literal children. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.